Hey, it's Hannah here, and today I'm talking about how and why to lunge your horse. So lunging is a fantastic exercise, I love it, it's got loads of benefits for your horse both physically and mentally, but I do get a lot of questions about it because um, often people and their horses have had experiences with lunging in the past which aren't so great. And this can include, you know, often when people think of lunging, they think of horses running around in circle, endless circles on the end of a line, being chased around, um, just being made to go round and round and round, being unbalanced, um, being tense, and these, um, it's just kind of, you know, not a pleasant experience. And if um, a horse has had experiences like that on a lunge, then they can either get really anxious when they go on the lunge and they often start to go really fast, or they can have a lot of resistance to it, so they can be reluctant to go forwards, they can repeatedly um, turn in, and they can even um, start to rear and pour and, and do other behaviours as well. So all of those are clearly not <laughs> what I'm talking about when I talk about how much I love lunging. Um, when I talk about lunging, I mean that the horse is going on a circle around you, but you're still maintaining that uh, connection, that communication, You and you use it for your, um, you know, your horse is in balance, they're paying attention to what they're doing, they're listening to your cues, got loads of, loads of benefits. But it's really important when you start that you teach lunge, your horse to lunge in a way which is clear for your horse and which is a positive experience. So there are um, a few ways that I do this one. The, the, a great way to do it is to get your horse to follow a target. So she's following it here, but if we're kind of in a leading position, I turn to face her, I put my hand out, and you can start to see that she's following the target with her nose, but moving the shoulders away from me. So we're starting to get a little bit of distance here. Good girl, don't need to go anywhere. We're starting to get a little bit of distance between me and her shoulder, um, but the target is keeping her nose, so we start to get the idea that she's curving round in a um, circle, which is the initial stages of lunging. So when you use a target, um, it gives your horse clear focus and direction of, as to where you want them to go and it's a really great way to help build a little bit more forwards motivation on the lunge as well as they're going towards something rather than being chased away um, and it really gives them clarity on where you want them to go because one of the big problems with lunging is that the horse doesn't really know what they're supposed to do so they just run away until they hit the, the end of the line and it's not really very clear to them that you actually want them to go on a circle so using a target is a great way to give your horse that clear direction and to give them the concept of lunging so one of the other techniques that i love to use with lunging is around a round pen are you ready yeah. okay so all you do again same thing of getting them to follow the target but this time you're doing it around the round pen. Good boy. So you just have the target in front of them, you're asking them to follow it, and they're just obviously following the path um, around, good boy, where the, um, where the fence is. To teach lunging was actually one of the reasons that I developed the around a round pen technique in the first place. And it is really helpful because again, it gives your horse that clarity. So you've got the fence up and they just have to follow it. So they start to learn where they're supposed to go, where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing. Um, and it's perfect as well if you've got horses who tend to um, fall in, turn in, get really excitable because they've got that barrier, first of all, between you and your horse to keep you safe, but also um, it just helps to support and guide the horse round in a circle as they learn how to, um, uh, what lunging is all about, about going round in that circle around you. One of the things that I like using the round pen for um, is that you can kind of get a guide and kind of phase the target out a little bit. So I'm pointing it in front of him, but it's not actually um, on the other side of the fence, it's on my side of the fence. So I can start to build in my lunging position, which is this hand here, which will be on the line saying, yes, keep going, and this hand kind of further back. Good, that's it. And of course, with both of these techniques, once they've got the concept, then you can start to really use it. So you can fade the tools of the targeting uh, the target and the round pen tools away so you can do your lunging on the line you can do it at liberty you can do it any combination with the target and the round pen at liberty with the target whatever um, I tend to teach it in a variety of different ways to my horses because first of all variety keeps it more interesting but also I find different um, setups more suitable for different things so like I might use the round pen if I'm teaching them to canter because it, it stops them falling in while they're thinking about working out their legs but I also want them to learn how to lunge on a line so that if I'm away from home and I can't 
let them at liberty, they understand that as well. So um, these tools are there to teach them, but once they've got the concept of going around you on a circle, then you can really start to, uh, to use it in whichever way suits you and your horse best. And once they do have the concept, you can then use it to teach lots of other things as well. So um, you've already seen in these videos that the horses are right from the start um, I'm starting to pick up things like are they connected to me, are they bending, are they balanced, are they long, are they relaxed, um, starting to teach changes of direction, all those kind of things. But you can um, also use it as well to help teach your horse um, joyful forwards motivation <laughs> um, if your horse is not that keen on going forwards. I use lunging to help teach horses learn how to um, relax at higher energy. So horses that get silly and trot and canter, you can teach them that emotional control safely on a lunge as you do the transitions up and down. I use lunging to teach really solid voice cues for um, a whole range of transitions. I teach my horses to um, I shape their movement and balance on the lunge. So there you can see his bit head high, so we say down. Good. And then from there, I can start to shape. I've just been reinforcing. Good. There, you see as he gets a little bit more elevation. Down. Yes. Good. And ho. Oh, beautiful. Once he's got it kind of really slow, then I could start to ask for, you know, a little bit more forwards with it and a little bit, bit more lengthening and elongation. And that was when he really started to stretch his spine, lengthen his stride, but keep this, um, the engagement through his abdominal muscles. And that was when he started to get really, really nice movement. And I also use lunging with pole work and jumping um, and this actually builds to the uh, free jumping of course because you've got your being able to, to send your horse change directions all those things as well. So as you can see there are loads of really great benefits to lunging and um, it brings in variety for your horse, it helps with physical fitness, you can shape their movement, you can help you teach them um, joy in moving, you can teach them relaxation <laughs> in moving, and um, that impulse control, the higher energy, it's great preparation for riding. But the really important thing is that you've got that connection between you all the time so that it's fun for both you and your horse. And that's what I'm talking about when I say that I love lunging. <laughs>